Hello, this is Lars from Native Instruments. In this video, we will explain how to resolve the could not load plugin error, which appears when attempting to load a preset from the Complete Control browser. When the error appears, close Complete Control and open Native Access. Firstly, we want to ensure that both Contact and Reactor are installed, as they are required to load many of the instruments that come with your complete bundle. To do this, navigate to the Installed Products tab and check that both Contact and Reactor appear in the list. In our example, Contact is already installed, but Reactor is missing. If they do not appear in the list, you will find them in the Not Installed tab. Click Install to start the installation. Next, we want to check the location where the plugins have been installed. Open Native Access Preferences and under File Locations, take a note of the VST64 location. We will need this later. In our example, it is the default location. Now, close the Preferences window and check the Install Products tab again. If you notice any entry marked with a yellow Repair button, this means that this product has been moved after installation or deleted. In order to be able to use this product within complete control, you need to repair the installation. If there is a repair button, click it. If you know where the missing items are located, choose Relocate. And navigate to the new location. Please also note down this path. Choose Reinstall if you don't know where the missing items are located or if they've been deleted. This will reinstall the plugin in the location you selected in Native Access Preferences. Repeat these steps for any products that show the repair button. Now, start Complete Control in standalone mode. You can find the application in C Drive, Program Files, Native Instruments, Complete Control. Open the Preferences and go to Plugins, then Locations. If any of the previously noted paths are not listed, click the Add button. Navigate to the noted locations and select them. Once they're listed, click Rescan. When the scan has finished, take note of all the paths that are listed here. You might have to add them again after the next step. Now, close the preferences and try loading your presets again. If the error should still appear, we will need to reinitialize the Complete Control database. Close Complete Control and navigate to the hidden App Data folder. You can do this by opening a Windows File Explorer window typing the percentage sign local app data followed by the percentage sign again into the address bar and then hitting enter. Next, navigate to the native instruments folder. Locate the complete control folder and delete it. Now, when you open complete control again in standalone mode, it will automatically rescan its database. This can take a few moments. Once the scan has finished, open the Preferences, Plugins, Locations, and add all paths that you noted down before which are not already appearing in the list. Once added, click Rescan. Once the scan has finished, you'll be able to load your presets in complete control.